and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So whenever I do a live stream, I have a really nice overlay that shows all the people in chat. I have my standard overlay with the characters in the bottom, and another one where the characters can answer some fun quizzes. I built this system myself and I made it so you can customize your own custom character, so let's see how to do that. It's actually relatively simple and you can draw whatever you want. Now like it says here, the first step is to go onto the user page, and in order for the customization to be applied to the character during a live stream, for that needs to know what YouTube account belongs to what character on my website. So in order for that to work, you need to click on the link YouTube button or to link your YouTube account with the user page. So just go up here on the top right corner to go to your user page and then click over here on the YouTube button or to link your account. This is required because otherwise there's no way for me to know the customization on the website, what particular YouTube user relates to that user account on the website. When that is done, then you can click over here on this button to customize your character. And yep, it opens up a nice Unity WebGL window. And over here you can do some basic customization. So change the skin color, change the hair color, change the hairstyle, the beard, the body, and so on. So modifying the basic look is super easy. Just change all of this and then save the changes. But the more fun part is actually drawing the character yourself. So for that, click on this button over here to download a base texture. And this opens up a URL with this window. So just go ahead, right click and save this image. And then you can just open this up in some kind of image editing program. Over here, I'm using Photoshop. And then basically all you need to do is just draw directly inside of these squares. So this one up here is the head down. So that is the sprite that shows up when the character is facing the screen, then when facing right, and it's inverted for facing left, and when the head is pointing up, then the hand, the foot, and the various body positions. So that's really it, super simple. Depending on your art skills, you can probably draw quite a lot better than me. And now since these characters, this style, is actually something that I've used in several of my own games. Because of that, I have a bunch of sprites with this exact same format, so a bunch of really interesting characters that I've used in several of my own games. For example, here is a nice ninja character. I believe I used this one in my Hyper Nice Battles game. So here it is, and yep, the only thing that matters is that I draw directly on the perfect position. So if I place the other overlay on top, notice how it's all drawn perfectly. So over here is the head down, head right, head up, and so on. And of course, you can raise all of the bounding boxes. So yep, this one is a sprite. So I can go ahead and save this as a PNG. And now back here on the website, I just need to click the button to select a custom texture. This opens up the file select window, so I can just select my sprite chain. And if there it is, my character with my custom texture that I just drew myself. Now all that's left is really just saving the changes. And if that's it, it's all done. Then there is a manual validation step. I have to manually go into my admin page and validate each sprite. Obviously it needs this step, otherwise my live streams would potentially show up with some really inappropriate things. So if you customize your character, just let me know during the live stream. Then I come here, I validate the character. There it is, it's done. And if then here is the character walking around on my live stream overlay with the custom texture that I designed. And if you want to know how I made this, how this whole overlay, how all of this works, if so, I actually made some tutorials on various parts for this system. So the first one is these characters down here. This is actually a transparent TNT window. So I cover that in this tutorial. Then for these characters, these animations, these are mesh-based animations. So that's what I covered here. And again, like I mentioned, this is the same animation system that I've used in many of my own games. Then in order to contact from Unity with the YouTube API, for that, I covered this tutorial all about doing HTTP requests from directly inside Unity. And finally, for the simple customization where it just changes the skin color, hair color, and so on. For that one, I covered how I handled the guest sprite sheets in my game, Battle Royale Tycoon. Basically, it involves tinting pixels of various colors and then copy-pasting various parts from different sprite sheets. So you put all that together and here is a really awesome custom character that you can also draw yourself in order to participate in my live streams. So go ahead, check the link in the description, draw your own character, and then join me on the next live stream.